All right, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So, I decided to try out the Ohm Studio beta version just for fun. And me and Matic both installed it and we are going to check it out. We have uh, not used it at all, so we'll see how it works. Okay, so the first screen that comes up is the create account. Thing. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so it's opening my browser. Let's see. All right, so I'll just create an account and then I'll continue. All right, I created an account and then I will contact Matiz about what do we do next. Okay, so I found Matiz is here. Okay, and then open private chat. Hello, homo. So, let's try this out. New project. Indeed, we are sucking some cock. All right, so here we are, and we'll do some wandering around here and check what the hell we do. So I'll cut it short here and check what we can actually do here. Output device to the Normal stuff, I'm going to use a bit higher buffer anyway. And then I can alternatively do more channels here if I need to. So, anyway, I think this will be fine for now. MIDI, record, okay. One bar sounds, two bars sounds better. VST, yeah. Display, brightness. Contrast. Oh yeah. Advanced. Okay. Cool. Okay. So. Okay. So day two. Now that I have started to become fairly familiar with the interface, let's go through the basics. So whenever you want to go through help, it's here. So. Personally, I suggest that you go to it and read it if you are ever confused about something. Anyway, the first thing, uh, you change the tempo here. So it goes from way fucking fast. Okay, I think if you ever need a tempo like that, good luck with that. And it goes anything through... Uh, 30 to 999, so I think the range is okay. So let's start with 160, for example, for this project. And the thing is that you don't really need to save at any point because it saves it every time. But if you want to, you can make a physical copy by making a snapshot. Okay, and then you can import and export audio and MIDI. So then the first thing that I noticed that if that if you try to make an audio track by dragging from here, it for some reason doesn't work. So just go to sequence menu, new audio track or new private audio track. And then you name it here, double click and let's say this is guitar. All right. And then what you what I did was that I went to preferences, audio, and then I made two different channels. So that they are now one and two, so that they are mono instead of stereo input. So if you need anything more, just, yeah. All right, so this will be my guitar input. 
I will go and fetch my guitar. All right, so I have my guitar with me. So this is the record button, and this is input monitoring on, off, and auto. So let's see. Okay, I have sound, but you know, I don't want to listen to just the sound. So let's get British Valve Custom by Studio Devil and drag it on the track. And as we're gonna hear, it's kind of loud. Okay, so now I'll turn also the fader down just a bit. And if I want to use a gate, I'll just check the compressor. And put it in front. All right, and let's check that we have a good level. Okay, so that's how you basically start a session. And then we turn on the record. Uh, if you want to click, you turn it on here. Uh, oh yeah, and when you start, it has these really annoying tool tips. Like, yeah. To hide tool tips, disable show tool tips in the help menu. So, anyway. So, we have a signature here, tempo here. I don't know if there is actually a tempo map ID. I don't think there is yet, but let's hope that in the future there might be. Anyway, so if you want to make a so four bar loop, one, two, three, four, and then we turn on this loop feature, and then we just record away for four bars. So we first arm it by pressing here or pressing R on the keyboard and then we press space or this play button here. Okay, there we have a 20 bar loop now. So, let's trim it down. And then if we want to make another guitar track, that's exactly the same. We just copy all the settings here. I don't know if there is actually a faster way to actually duplicate the track. I don't think there is. No, at least not yet. Maybe next time. So, same thing. <coughs> And then let's pan these left and right. R space. Okay, same thing. We take it from here and trim it. Okay, so now we basically have two loops. And if you want to zoom in left and right, uh, G and J. G as in Gabriel, J as in Jack. Okay, and then we select these two. And on the bottom corner, if you want to trim it, you go to the center. And if you want to loop it, you go to the bottom right corner. So here's two loops and four, three. Okay, all right, so this one is also a guitar. Guitar left and guitar right. Next, what we want to do is to add a MIDI track. So what we do is that we drag a plugin from here. So for example, core, player, So we'll drag it here, 
and now it has the MIDI instrument there so core and if you want to open the plugin you press the E and if you want to disable it you press the power button let's turn it on okay so here I have a wide assortment of different things so I'll want a bass sound for example uh, so Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Anyway, um, what I'll do is that I'll I'll just start recording the bass. Okay, and now we have the track here so we use the zoom huge zoom in all right <clears throat> so where is my MIDI keyboard okay there it is it somehow appeared Anyway, we select all the notes because I played them on a different note than I was supposed to. So now we just use keyboard shortcuts up and down and it moves. All right. So let's try now. So I'll move it down an octave uh, with shift and click. So let's see. Oh yeah, and you press enter and it moves to the... It moves to when you press enter, it moves to the beginning of the session. Okay, so we are missing a note in the very beginning. So let's add one. So I just press down command and it turns into the pen tool. And if we select all of these, so we zoom out first, G, and then we press. Then we select a uh, 6 state note, and then we zoom out again, press Q for quantize, it will quantize them to the grid. Uh, or should it be actually 8 notes? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so as we noticed, we have a few wrong notes. So, for example, here. All right, and then in the beginning. Alright, so there we basically have the, then we press escape like it says here, to zoom back out, and then we press C to toggle between compact mode and the non-compact mode. <coughs> anyway, what next? Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. I think that's the pretty basic of stuffs, so that is how you can get started with, with Ohm Studio. So. Maybe something that I should uh, present before I stop this video. So here are the basic tools. This is the pen tool, which is the multi-purpose tool. Here is the pen tool for making MIDI notes. Here is eraser tool, you know, just delete stuff. And 
use pen tool to make empty regions and on MIDI. And then you use it to draw MIDI automation and and notes and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, then you have the cut tool, where, which you use to splice things up, and then you have the move tool. Sorry, this is the navigation tool. And this is the move tool, so if you now want to move that part, you, you can. So let's undo a few steps, and this is the mute tool, so. You click on there and it should be muted, but it's it's not for some reason. I noticed that if we press this button here, it puts all the stuff to my other screen. So now I have the mixer window on the other screen. I'll take a screenshot then so you can actually see it. Anyway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this first view of Ohm Studio. Um, if you have any questions or comments or something you, that you want me to do with Ohm Studio, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I make new videos every week. Uh, thank you for watching and make good music.